In this example problem, we're going to go over how to account for investments in common stock. So as the problem says here, both Geco and Hinboro have 100,000 shares of no-par no common stock outstanding. Globe acquired 10,000 shares of Geco stock for $6 per share and 30,000 shares of Hinboro stock for $12 per share in 2010. Both securities are being held as long-term investments. Changes in retained earnings for Geco and Hinboro for 2010 and 2011 are as follows. Now before we even start this problem, one thing that you'll want to notice is that 10,000 shares of, ten, of 100,000 is 10%. So that would, um, and since it's being held for long as a long-term investment, that would qualify this as an available for sale security. But um, Hinboro, Globe bought 30,000 shares of Hinboro, and 30,000 of 100,000 is 30 percent. So they're gonna, they are gonna have. This is gonna be held as an equity security for Globe. So these two things are accounted for differently, and that's obviously what this problem is about. And so here's the financial information for these two companies for the two years, 2010-2011. And what the problem wants us to do is give the entries required on the books of Globe for 2010 and 2011 to account for its investments in Geco and Hinboro. So the first entry of 2010 is this right here. We have a debit to cash for 37.50 and a credit to dividend revenue for 3750. Now, Globe owns 10% of Geco stock, so therefore the cost method is used and the dividend is computed just by taking the 37500 dividends paid by Geco and taking 10% of that. That's 3750. The next one is the investment in Hinboro stock for 21,000 and the income from investment in Hinboro stock. Globe owns 30% of Hinboro stock, therefore they uh, claim 30% of the income, which is 21,000. So you can see that the income for Hinboro for 2010 is 70,000. 30% of that is the 21,000. Now, at the end of 2010, you've got to make a market adjustment to available for sale securities. Geco stock is being held as a long-term investment. It's properly recorded as an available for sale security. At the end of 2010, Geco stock was worth $750 per share, which is an increase in overall value of $15,000 from what Globe paid for it um, whenever they bought it in 2010. So, you have a debit to market adjustment and a credit to unrealized increase decrease in the value of an AFS security. Now in 2011 we're going to have the dividend revenue again from Geco. Geco is being held as an available for sale security so its dividend revenue is reported as the same you know as for what it is dividend revenue. 10 percent of the forty five thousand dollars paid in dividends equals forty five hundred dollars so that's pretty straightforward. This one is a little bit different because Hinboro is classified as an equity security. Hinboro's dividends are recorded under the investment in Hinboro stock account, um, and 30% of the $20,000 dividends is $6,000. So what this is doing is is, that, is it is actually lowering the investment in Hinboro stock because Globe is accounting for this as if as an owner of the company. Um, so as dividends are paid out, it's that's part of its um, investment going away actually instead of gaining it like it is for the available for sale security. So let's see. For the cash dividends of 20,000, they take their 30% of that um, and yeah, they're crediting it to their investment in Hinboro stock. Now at this next transaction, this is to record the share of Hinboro's income from 2011. So of the $40,000, Hinboro net income 2011, $40,000 right here. 
they take their 30% of that and as you can see 40,000 times 30% is 12,000 so they're going to debit their investment in Hinbro stock it's going up $12,000 and their income from the investment in the Hinbro stock is the 12,000 now at the end of 2012 again you have an unrealized increase decrease debit to the value of the AFS securities this is because the market value of Geico stock went down one dollar per share and Globe owns ten thousand shares so that's ten thousand dollars and to finish that entry you credit market adjustment to AFS securities for ten thousand dollars